good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Okay, listen. Um, I did What You Don't See Coming. It's about 40 minutes long. And they did the energy push. That's about a half hour long. Okay, So about an hour, 10 minutes worth of video. Um, this is the energy exchange. Any denomination, okay? I just asked for five or more. Um, so I'm not paying your taxes at the end of the year. So if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And I, I try to do this about once a week for you guys, okay? Um, you can go to the donation link below and hit the button that says to benefit our channel. You can put in a donation and I will email it to you if you don't get it within 20 minutes. Um, please re-email me and say, Court, I didn't get it. It's my job. Don't feel bad, okay? Um, but that is ready. So again, what you don't see coming, and that was about 20 minutes, uh, 40, 40 minutes, okay, 40 minutes long. That was a, that was a tough one. And then I did the energy push, um, which is, you know, the, I've done three or four of them, and each one tends to be different, um, which is great. This one's extremely beneficial. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and those are available, and I'm just going to do a quick Sunday read for you, just like three cards for Sunday, March 1st, welcome to March, welcome to March 2020, March Madness, y'all, so, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, And while I'm in the midst of them trying to give you what is needed, please watch the, um, please watch the, what you don't see coming first when you order these videos. Because you're getting both. So this is nice. Contentment. So you're having a nice, a nice Sunday. Surrounded by flowers. Try to get outside. Try to get outside. Okay. Ten of Wands. Lots of endings today. But for new beginnings, obviously, right? some type of rebirth here I know it's up the Ten of Cups real quick. Okay, you guys are all up in your head whether or not someone, you know. So you're not you're not content. You're. You, but here's the energy. You should be. Okay? There should be somebody around where you're able to to lift the weight, to get rid of some type of dependency, some type of habit. You're too busy wondering or all up in your head. And it's like stressing you out. So that's not cool. That's not good. You can't stop thinking about somebody. You know, if you're the one that needs to reach out, reach out. Talk about it. Because I wouldn't see this person being a bad person. This is good energy. 
so you know you have an opportunity to have a good day a couple days it's energy right but yet instead of enjoying it smell the roses type energy you're could be mentally conflicted about a situation but this type of energy drops this type of energy so you're kind of doing that to yourself I mean it's not hard to know what fulfills you so obviously you're not fulfilled so why why are you thinking about it let it go you know what I mean like you have an opportunity to feel contentment but yet you're not see this is weighing some hard on someone like someone wants a new start somebody wants to send a message it is the slowest night of the jack but it is a very stable reliable night that's what I'm saying like if you're the one that needs to reach out reach out what are you doing you know, so it's like, it's a hard decision for you. It's like, is this person a good person? Is it good energy? Will I be content? But like, you wouldn't know that because you're too busy wondering instead of taking action. It's a hard decision for somebody. So to me, it's like you have a habit of doing this. Not the first time you've been in this situation. Drop the habit. Stop overthinking. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, right? So there's something here. It's like you're, it's self-torture. Self-sabotage over here. This is like victim. Don't, don't, don't be that person. All right? Learn Six of Swords. You know, learn the lesson. Stop doing what it is you've been doing. So you've been in this situation before, especially with the wheel right here. It's like you got feelings for someone. So whatever this is regarding. So you have an opportunity for contentment. It's a 10. And it's linked to cups. So there's a new opportunity with love or getting to know someone or liking someone. But it's like, what do you do? You know, well... Drop the weight. This is not the first time you've been in this situation or the, the way you've acted with a scenario. Let it go. You've learned a lesson. You know, move forward. I feel like this is positive. You know what I mean? I really do. It, it's like it, those energies balance each other out. Well, they could, if you would just get out of your own head about something. You've done this. Whatever this is, you've been put in this situation before. Or how you responded to something is something how you've responded before. But you can fix that because you realize it. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. So to me... Yeah, so you have the Six of Swords, right? It's, it's a lesson. Thinking. But you also have the Lovers Reversed. So Lovers Reversed usually speaks of a decision being made. So, again, reach out. That's way too many. Tell me about the Knight of Coin. So those, you know... I'll just leave it at that. It's not as hard as you think to reach out. You've learned. You've learned a lesson. Okay. So, yeah, leaving the past behind and having a, a new direction, having a new. Actually, it came out this way. Having a new opportunity to move forward. Leaving the past, being successful, moving forward. So, obviously. You know, you had feelings for a couple of different situationships, people, places, things. You know, the lovers is here, so I don't know if you met someone new. Gotta leave the past behind. Really, what do I do? What do I not do? Past needs to be left. 
Obviously, there's a situation shift that was not good. It's time to drop the habit. You've learned a lesson. They're stressing it. You got it twice. There's new fulfillment. There's new contentment in your life. Let the weight go by choosing the direction, choosing somebody. It looks like you did. It's just getting there. So this is not the first time you reacted to a situation the same way, you know, but it's almost like you, that's too many. You've realized, you picked up on a situation, you realize it, right? So we've got a lot of travel cards here. Yeah, so you can create, you can, you can go back in, you have the confidence, right? <sighs> travel card, travel card, travel card, travel card. Send a message. Meet up with somebody, have coffee, do something. You got 666 on the board too. Um, 666. Um, a lot of people are scared of that. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll read you the exact definition. Actually, it's, it's a great void. It's a positive void. There's a profound spiritual meaning here. It says you have the ability to use your imagination, intellect, combination, positive outcomes when you use it correctly. You're aware of your balance and your own thoughts. Your worries and your concerns, especially if it has to do with financial and material things, will be taken care of. Have faith. Okay. Um, it's a message that you're being supported and assisted. Go after your desires, your goals. Okay. Leave what no longer serves you. Leave the fears behind, Cons especially with money if you're having situations with money. Okay. But you're going to get what you need. It's also indicating your thoughts are out of balance. But you can create it once you approach whatever this is. Let go of whatever is no longer serving you. Let this weight go. Okay. Do the conscious random acts of kindness too. It's an indication that your thoughts are out of balance. Stay focused. But you can, here it's saying you can balance them. Okay. Trust yourself. All you gotta do is is go after it. So you're not you're not trusting yourself. But I mean, I already saw all that, and the six 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 is exactly what I just read to you. And on top of that, the three reasons why you might be seeing them that has something different to do with this. You know, you need to align your thoughts with the universe. You're getting there, okay? Remember your true divine being. There's a big dream. You want it. Go after it. Transform your life by positive thinking. Right now you're having a hard time. You need to leave a situation. Leave somebody behind. But it looks like you made the decision to do it. So actually it's time to act on it. To get yourself out of this energy. There's something extremely positive here. I don't. You must have repeated something. So it's hard for you to, to talk about it. Come in, fix it. But you can do it. It's, it's right here. It's clear as day. You don't need to rush. Take your time. Be assertive. This is good energy. It's not lousy energy. The only thing that's keeping you in this negative energy is yourself thinking the worst. Okay? But you're thinking the worst when there's something extremely positive right in front of you. Make the move. Reach out. Communicate. It's going to help relieve stress, whatever's going on, anxiety, the weight, the pressure. You can make it, right? You might have to own up to something or this is your past where it's, it's constantly consistently <sighs> repeating cycles but you don't you don't need to you got to stay positive here it's a great read this read requires action okay um You can find some of these answers in, obviously, my, my energy exchange. But this is fresh energy. Just got to make moves.
the assertive neutral. Let me get one from this deck. All this energy can subside. It is one of those situationships. I don't think you're dealing, I think you have somebody in your life or somebody around you that can actually make you, it's like after you have a conversation, whatever it is, it's like this weight is just kind of like, it's just lifted, okay? Neda Gabriel, be confident, courageous, optimistic, time to take action. You instinctively know what to do anyway, okay? This is just your best advice. But you can solve your problem, get out of the whole mental space. You're not being put here, you weren't placed here. The universe didn't like say, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you, you've already you figured something out, you know, act on it, let go of what didn't serve you. There's, there's something beautiful underlines here. Absolutely beautiful. You know, this is somebody who needs to reach out regarding something. And it looks like masculine energy because you got the Knight of Coin and the Knight of, of Wands. You know, somebody who really wants to is just not yet. Or they, or they might. You know what I mean? Um... I don't know if you've been watching, I asked about the lovers, I don't know if you've been watching a particular energy, but there's something spiritual here that you're picking up on. I mean, the star and the lovers is, you know, a divine union. You do want, yeah, see, you do want something pure, raw in your life. The the hermit is somebody who goes into retrospect, you know, um, but this is overanalyzing, overthinking. That with the Eight of Swords, right? This is somebody who who seeks only the best. And I think you're fully aware. You have the Ten of Cups, the Star. There's something very divine here. You, you must be spiritual yourself, so you're starting to see something. Um, which is nice. Which is telling me you might get out of this energy sooner than later. Okay? But in all reality... You create your own destiny thoughts. Your best advice is, is to be assertive and go after what it is you want. Something life changing here. It's it's I can feel it. It is there's a soul bond here. It is pretty strong. I don't know if you've experienced it yet, but you will. All right, so you're welcome to the energy exchange if you want it. Again, there's a link below to say to benefit our channel. Put in any denomination. I just asked for five or more, and I will send it to you. If you don't get it within 20 minutes, please reach out. Okay, again, it is my job. Welcome to all the new subscribers and to all the ones that have been on our channel. I love you, I love you, I love you. You know, do, do something with this. It's going to make you feel a heck of a lot better. I can feel the heaviness, the pressure. It's, there's something with the heart chakra. It's unknown. Might be intimidating. I love it. Not like the pressure and stuff I'm feeling. Whatever I'm feeling. It's that. It's the soul. The soul connection. The soul bond. Something precious here. Have a fantastic day, guys. Happy Sunday. Love you.